guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back again with another video. I have my extraction this week and the vlog just wasn't coming along so I said you know what, I don't want to miss an upload so I'm going to give you guys some unsolicited slash solicited advice because I did ask you guys on Instagram what are some topics you guys want some advice on on the same whole heap of topics. So what we're going to do is kill two birds with one stone today because you guys have been asking me for my makeup routine So I said hey, why not just do an updated Makeup routine while giving you guys the advice that you want, you know, so that's what we're doing. We're, we're going to be Talking we're going to be having a little girl talk while I do my makeup Um so yeah, I have a blank canvas as you guys can see, no edges, no nothing. I don't do my edges before I do my makeup because it just always end up messy or gone. Like I have to redo them anyway because the process of doing the makeup messes up the edges. <coughs> but yeah, so I'm going to look for my first topic while I do my brows. Okay. So the first topic that my eye caught is femininity. Now it just says femininity, doesn't say what exactly about femininity. Okay. okay. So firstly, for the brows, I'm going to be going. I'm going to be going in with my Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in the shade Natural Beige, and I'm mixing it with my LA Girls Pro Conceal in Suede. Just to give me a more natural look. This one is on it's a bit bright, so that's why I mix it with this to give me a more natural look. Alright, so femininity. There are a lot of ways to exude femininity. And I realized that like not everybody was brought up a certain way to carry themselves a certain way, like even when you're at home, and that has a lot to do with exuding femininity. Like it's not just a one-off get up and dress up type of thing it's a mindset it's something that has to be embedded in you it's something that was embedded in me from young I was just hesitant to receive it <laughs> if we're being honest like I grew up with a mother that yeah, you have to come every day you have to bathe two times a day you have to smell good even if it's a hundred dollar cologne you got put on you have to do those little things for, you know, as a girl, as a female, do them little something there for fix up yourself because I feel like that's a part of being a woman, just looking good, feeling good. So, femininity starts from really your overall upkeep, how you take care of yourself on a daily basis, and you branch off into um, more like sense and stuff like that. Am I going to be able to talk under my brows? I don't know. Alright, so where did we leave off? Femininity. But first, this is the brush that I use to like blend my under eyes. I don't know what it name, honestly. I'm just showing you guys how the top looks and stuff like that. And this is the one that I use to draw the line, like an angled brush. But yeah. Femininity becomes a bit more challenging as you get older and you're making your own money, you know, you're 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 an independent boss babe. It's very easy to tap into your masculine energy at this point in your life. And to be honest, I don't know how to tell you to recover your feminine energy. No, you're still putting yourself together, you're still looking good, you're still looking, you know, feminine. Essentially, you're 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 giving femininity, but your energy is exuding masculinity because you're so strong, you're so independent, you're so used to doing everything on your own. You don't need nobody for nothing. It's you know, and it's kind of hard to accept help too. It's kind of giving, you know. Yeah, and I honestly don't know what advice to give you guys as it relates to that because I myself, I am still trying to figure out how to step away from being so independent, being so, oh, I don't need nobody to do nothing to, for me, I don't need nobody to help me, I can do this on my own, and just give that soft girl feminine vibes. Like, I hope um, I gave the advice that I was supposed to give. Like, I'm sorry, I ramble a lot, and I get, I, I tend to bring myself in a circle and trying to explain something, so I hope 
I gave you what you needed essentially for me femininity is taking care of yourself taking pride in your appearance no matter if I also I mean I don't believe in wearing terrible clothes in the house I absolutely don't believe in it I mean I believe in a holy holy clothes I mean I believe in a bleach stain clothes I don't believe in it I only have one bleach stain item and that's because the shirt wash literally right after my bite and I never get to wear it and bleach touch it and I was like okay I'm not throwing it away but otherwise from that me not believe enough to carry yourself certain way no matter if nobody knows see you take pride in your appearance even when it's only for you because you matter at the end of the day you are somebody too and you look at yourself and you associate yourself with a certain state that you don't need to be associating yourself with so femininity starts with your mindset and your appearance that you give up on a daily basis right? yeah I didn't tell you guys that I'm outlining the top of my eyebrow with my foundation with the same angled brush and then using the same blending brush to just blend it out. I do this because I don't like the appearance of having makeup on my forehead. I do wear it on my forehead, but it's all it's always all foundation. I mean I like wear like highlights on my forehead because it just I don't know, it doesn't photograph well so I just use my foundation and clean up the top area of my room. Why would you know that? Why would you know that this is like a chair flap my sure. Why you did that? Anyways, yeah, that's what I'm doing to clean up the top area of my eyebrow. So the next topic that I got is how to get over a breakup. Now I was talking about this the other day on my Instagram story. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and follow me. Why aren't you following me? It's right here. It's free. It's fun. It's lit. I try to post every day. It's not always going to be me, but I try to interact with you guys more often over there. So I'm going ahead and follow you, girl. So right now I'm going to go ahead with my foundation, and this is the NARS Macau shade. Yeah, this is the one that I use. I really like it. I didn't like it at first, but I really like it now. But yeah. How to get over a man slash heartbreak. I was telling you guys this on Instagram the other day, as I just said. <laughs> um, I pretend that they died. And I'm not joking, I'm not trying to be funny. You need to pretend that the person is dead and you need to mourn their loss. You also need to lose all communication that is linked to them, like family members, friends, you know, need nobody in your ear, I try to tell you because they're always going to put that person's best interest at heart. You don't need them in your ear. You don't need a reason to run back. If the person, if, if your heart is broken, it is, there's a reason why it's broken and you don't need to run back to somebody that broke your heart. That's how I feel. But yeah, um, pretend that they died and of course it's okay to feel the emotions of the heartbreak it's okay to feel everything that comes with that heartbreak the pain the anxiety everything everything the fear everything everything but there comes a point when you have to say enough is enough and that starts with stop listening to all those sad music i kid you not this is the first step to getting over the person like when you when you run it when the, when the emotions run them course and you feel like all right I want stop feel like there's no stop listening to the sad music I literally I was going through um, similar situation and one of my male friends were going through this situation as well at the time and he was just you know venting asking me for advice and this was after the point that I had stopped listening to the sad music and I I noticed positive changes in how I was feeling and I told him like listen stop listening to this mess he's like no I eat out my co-op if I'm gonna play the music I'm gonna analyze myself and I was like trust me just stop and it, he acted like he never gonna take the advice and then I saw him like five months after I told him that and he's like you know that actually did work like actually stop and it actually make a big difference I'm like yeah man, no like once you stop feeding your soul that gloomy depressed down energy 
and try seeing you know the bright side of everything you're going your emotions will fall into place like, like they will act accordingly like i can tell you from experience because i went through a really bad breakup a really really bad one so yeah my advice is to just act like the person died and grieve that grieve them as if someone actually died you don't need to see this person on them socials you need to block out all the socials you need to Block them off of everything, just take them out of your life in every way you can, except through illegal ways, please. But yeah, actually grieve them like they died, and one day it will get better. You will think about the memories and not feel sad. You can probably even smile about the memories that you guys shared together and created together. So yeah, that's why I added to two cents on how to get over a man slash a heartbreak and find something fun to do you know don't just mope or throw yourself into what you're doing then any obligations that you have to meet just make them your number one priority to try to take the person off your mind not using it as a distraction but you know just putting your energy somewhere else than thinking about the person so I'm going in back with the same mix that I told you guys earlier of the two concealers, the LA Girls and the Too Faced because I'm going to be doing my under eye highlight. So this next topic is balancing life in your early 20s and the pressures of being stable in every aspect. This is something that I'm currently going through. I'm trying to figure out how to balance life and not depress myself because I feel so pressured into having more because I see other people with more and it's like oh my god why am I not doing this why am I why are they getting this and I'm not doing this you need to understand that literally everybody life different God couldn't make everybody timeline the same like that would just be chaos like there would be no balance in the world so everybody life different and you just have to figure out what makes sense to you you have to be content with your life like it's so easy to um look at someone else and say okay but why them can't get that and me can't get it but you don't know their background it's like it, it always comes down to that you don't know their background you don't know what the people them get for, for do forget it like it's a grass is always green on the other side type of thing yeah the other man grass greener but you don't know what him do forget it and to balance yourself to balance your mindset to balance your life you need to find peace in the fact that not everybody's timeline is the same and things will work out for you regardless you have to be confident in the fact that things will work out and when you speak to stability stability looks different for everybody me could have let's say me i work on nine to five and me get my pay and I have, enough, I have enough money for cover the transportation fare for the whole month, food for the whole month, bills for the whole month, and I have like a five grand left in my pocket. That could be stability to me. While stability to somebody else at my age, which is 22, would be owning a car. Stability to somebody else would be having a family. So stability looks different to everybody, and we have to figure out what it is to us and work towards it. Why not pressuring ourselves and understanding that things will come in the time that they should come. Not saying like, God, I go just reward you for doing nothing, but you have to just put in the work and trust him. And I'm a very spiritual person. Some of you guys may not know I'm not a Christian, but I do believe in God and I do have very strong faith. So that might back a lot of my reasoning. So if you're not necessarily into that, I'm sorry, but that's just how I think. Everybody have them destiny and we're going to all fulfill it as long as you work for it You're going to feel pressured into wanting things especially with this new society, but you have to Exercise having a strong mindset and knowing what you want working towards it and you'll be rewarded in the end That's all I have to say to that because that's all I do myself. I do feel pressured sometimes I do feel like I could be doing more but I know that I'm doing the best that I can do and that is good enough like that is honestly so good because I could just not be doing anything 
but I am honestly doing my best. I'm trying my best, and I know one day I will reap the rewards of the seeds that I'm planting. So yeah. I don't know if I get it. I don't know if that's solid at first, but it, it sounds like it makes sense to me, so I don't know we're good. <laughs> so the next topic is gaining confidence. This one, that one I kind of, I don't know. Am I the right person? I mean, I might be. All right, so gaining confidence. I'm not gonna tell no lie. In high school, I was kind of a confident person because I don't know if I told you guys that I wanted to become a model when I was younger. It was during high school and I am a skinny mini as you guys know like I'm very skinny and I was way skinnier in high school so I was very confident because I in my mind I'm going to be a model I'm the perfect build for it although I wasn't the perfect height because I'm, I'm relatively on the shorter side I'm five six I tell you guys don't believe that because I'm so tall against my sister but I'm five six and I am this very skinny mini so essentially I was confident and we're going to get a little bit um, vulnerable here on my end I may never feel the need to look like nobody else like I was perfect in my eyes now where my confidence started breaking was when so I started becoming more involved on YouTube and you know I was always in the vlogs and people would always comment on my teeth my teeth they are a genetic it's a genetic case. There is nothing I could do to stop that from happening. That's just the way I was born. And I didn't have a, I didn't, I, if I did ask me something wrong with me then before um, people on YouTube started to make comments about I should get braces, I should do this, I should do that. Me would have no, cause me look into the mirror, I'ma see a very beautiful model. That's all I saw at the time. So, when that started, when those comments started to come in, it kind of took a, I, I kind of like started to look at myself and that's where insecurity started to play a role. I'm like, something wrong with me? Something, something did wrong with me? I wasn't aware. I went to take my brush and my pressed powder. This is the Milani face powder in the shade Warm. And set, oh no, sorry. I'm going to set my under eyes first with my Fenty banana powder. But yeah, I'm looking, if, I'm looking at the mirror and say, oh, something wrong with me. And I started to analyze myself more. And then people would make slick comments. Like, people would even, like, try to downplay my confidence. Like, you know, say, if you're already shot, you would have ugly. And I'm like, huh? It's like, when them see somebody so confident in themselves, they try to find every way to project and break your energy. But... I started to look at myself and I would not lie because I am human I became insecure about my teeth for a hot minute until I realized they listened to me it's summer band and then say all over um, all over created in God's image so that must mean to me damn beautiful because if God created me in a few images and it's sunny look then I am a very beautiful girl so I ignored it I ignored it honestly any thoughts of like any thoughts that would try to break my confidence I honestly ignored it and that's how I became like more confident in myself the reason why I ended up getting braces is because I knew that I was going to eventually get it done it just wasn't a nobody timing and it's not because nobody think it's ugly it's because i know that it is for my optimal health okay it wasn't done for anybody but um yeah i ignored everything i ignored every single thing that people tried to celebrate me because at the end of the day 
They still put a look good like me. And I just treat me that my sister girl. Sometimes you have to you have to just be your own hype man when it comes down to confidence. You can't make when nobody say break your spirit. You have to, you have to um, develop thick skin and just black out any nice when people try to come say nothing about you. Like you can't tell me nothing, I am that girl. Like literally. Literally cannot tell me nothing, I am that girl. I am gonna put up, block out the noise, any voices of insecurity in your head that's the devil trying to tell you that you're not beautiful, baby, and you are so beautiful. So don't listen to that and just anything where you feel insecure about flaunt it more. And you know, you didn't say any lie when you tell on yourself eventually. If you tell yourself enough on a start, believe it, lie to yourself if that's what you need to do. Lie to yourself until you start believe it and the confidence will come. I'm not gonna lie, the confidence are gonna come. Because you see not ask me to tell me was that girl. Not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go in with this powder now to set my whole entire face. So moving on, somebody asked my opinion on or my advice on sitting out a year of uni after completing seven years of high school baby if you if school is what you really want if you really want to go to university please don't do it the worst thing a person can do that want to pursue further education is take a break it, 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 listen i know you're tired i know you just want to reach the end of your academic journey but do not take that year off because chances are you're gonna take the year off you're gonna get a job you're going to start making money the money probably makes sense to you and you're like okay me don't need to go back to school when the truth the truth the fuck of the matter is if you don't want to stay in that position for the next 10 years you know you really need to go back to school the money nice now and it seems okay now because you're a teenager, you just start out life, everything is fine. But what happens when you start to expand your family, you know? What happens at that time? The money is not going to be enough. You're going to want a, um, what do you call it, promotion. Mm -hmm. You're going to want a promotion and the boss is going to pick somebody else over you why? because they have the formal education for it. They don't matter how much years they have the job. Yeah, them have the formal education fee so they're going to get it over you and you're going to probably end up going back to university so much later on in your life when you could have done get this out of the way. You understand? So I don't recommend sitting out. I've heard the stories time and time of time and time again of people who sat out and they just regret it so much so and even for me me personally if i did ever if we did ever sit out one year you would take wood and it to my back and now i'm graduating and i feel good about that so my advice is to not sit out right here now i'm going to contour with this palette i'm not entirely sure what the name is but you can screenshot it and i'm going to be taking my angled brush and take it to the cheek to kind of chisel them as well as my nose all right somebody asked advice on weight gain i think that's so funny i don't know why i think it's so funny maybe it's because i'm self Guinea, but you guys know that I've been on multiple weight gain journeys, one even including the gym. Um, but yes, I do have some free game for you guys. Okay, so there is this vitamin syrup, it's sold at Fontana, it's called Amino Pep. It's really good in, in the sense of opening up your appetite for you to eat more. That's what I used for a while and I still even use it sometimes when I lose my appetite and I know that I need to be eating. It's called Amino Pep. Yeah, you guys can try that out as well as um, Maskina. 
Mascara is one of those things that could really bulk you up, but you need to be careful with it because child, that thing is that thing is so thick and so filling like you really have to mind what you do with it. It's recommended that you, you drink it at least two times a day, but me, I could only manage one. And the way how I was introduced to it at first, it was dreadful. Like it was the mascara with eggs and like fish oil in there. It was, <coughs> but I got it for myself and I made it for myself. And it's not bad. You can drink it first thing in the morning and first thing before bed. Drinking protein before bed is actually can actually help you gain a lot of weight. As you realize to go into the gym. For gaining weight, when I went, I tried to just focus on muscle and I was eating clean and all of that. That never, that never ever happened. Listen, if you are gonna do it, you probably are gonna want dirty bulk, meaning you're gonna have the fast food and what you desire. And uh, see how that, how your body responds to that, see if you can gain some weight. But it's really hard for a lot of people and I would say finally I would say try eating three times a day. I started doing that the other day and I saw a major difference in my body. Of course I fall, I fall, I fall off ever so often worse because I'm wearing braces now and every month when I get them tightened I can barely eat anything so I really and truly ate this to myself. Look how the something black up my nose. Mighty God of Daniel. I'm so traumatized. I must remember what me that say. I'm so, 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 so traumatized. It look better. Jesus, Lord. I know that makeup is never going to come out on Jelena just because what? I do it on camera. But when I continue, you know, when I know some means a girl I can fix my face sometime, right? So don't judge me too hard. I'm going to use the same shade and go over my eyes just to break it up a bit. Add some dimension. And you're going to be using a windshield wipe motion. But yeah, try eating three meals a day. That really makes a difference. And if you're going to say, oh, I can't eat three times a day because I don't have any appetite, drink the amino pep two times a day and you will surely have the appetite and it doesn't make you feel sleepy. That's the one thing I love about it because I tried Tresserix before and that made me just feel like a log. I did not like it. So yeah, that's my little weight gain advice. So after we do this, you know, we basically done in a, we basically done. Like I don't use that many steps in doing my face. Am I done though? Yeah, I think we're basically done. Oh my God, you made it to the end of the video. Normally at this stage, I would put on lashes, but we're not gonna do that today. We're going to be using mascara. We're gonna be using mascara. I don't know, something about the face, you no know, feel face, you know. I'm gonna feel like I don't know we're gonna mash up, you know. Something about the face. Wanna see it too, don't know. Wanna know that this is not me. You see, I'm gonna call me a chat. I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna chat me out. Something about the face, not me. Alright, we're gonna be using the mascara now, and this is the one that I used last sensational. Lash Sensation and Luscious Hydrofuge and it's from Maybelline. Focus. Yeah. And we're going to apply that to my top and bottom lashes. A little free game for you guys. If you guys want to make like graphic liners but you don't have any liners and you don't want to spend money on buying all those different color liners what you can do is buy a makeup palette with like very vibrant colors and a setting spray 
You're going to find like a brush that can make a wing liner and spray that brush with a setting spray, dip it in the eyeshadow of your choice and make your wing. <laughs> make your wing. <laughs> make your wing. And yeah, it will look like you bought a gel liner for that purpose. That's what I've been doing and it's been looking so so cute, so artsy, so Gen Z. So yeah, this is the second to last step after this. I am going to add some lip gloss on my lip with a 5% tint. If you guys know what I'm talking about, then you're, you're locked in on social media. But if you don't know what that is, I'm going to line my lips with some brown liner around the edges and then add a bit of lip if me never what's all in there now honestly oh, i don't know why the makeup come out so today but i forgot work this type of makeup i normally do like if me i go like beach or somewhere not too serious not beach because Makeup on beach no mix, but well, let me see, where would I wear this makeup to? Uh, like the movies. If I want to look cute and I'm going I'm going to the movies, I would wear this this V to the movies. You know? I don't like when my lip um, has a product, so take my wipe, wipe that off. And there we have the 5% tint. I'm going to go find a glass and, you know, yeah. Yeah, that's the 5% tint on the lips. So, yeah. Let me guys know if you like this video and comment down below if you guys want to see me do more of this with different topics, different makeup looks. Each time I'm I'm not a makeup girl, I don't really, I'm just really tapping into my makeup bag. Um, but yeah, also guys, my birthday is December, as you all know. I'm a December baby, December 7th, that's my birthday, and we are at 46k. So I think you guys know where this is going. I would really appreciate it if you guys would help me hit 50,000 subscribers by the time my birthday rolls around. That would mean so much to me. That, that would really make my birthday like, yay, I reached a milestone, you know? So I'd really love if you guys could subscribe if you haven't already. And I know that half of you guys that are watching aren't subscribed because I see all. I really do. I see what's happening on my back end. And half of you don't subscribe and I want to know why that is. Please subscribe to the Dan. I know mean, so no like it over here. Please subscribe to me. I would really appreciate it if I, if I hit 50k before my birthday. That would mean so much to me. But yeah. Okay, so that's it for the makeup. I just did my edges. That's it for the face. I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to go ahead and give me a like if you did. And comment down in the comment section and let me know which piece of advice was more well received you know which one touched your soul make you feel inspired i don't know and don't forget to subscribe as i said it would mean a lot if you guys would let me reach 50,000 by my birthday it's just four more thousand because we're at 46k and yeah i really appreciate you guys for continuously supporting me i really really do i really do appreciate you guys and i'll see you in my next vlog vlog for sure i'm just taking this period to recover from my extraction and thank you guys for showing up regardless so i love you guys and see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>